Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're doing back-to-back -back sawing videos. Yesterday I showed you some walnut, some beautiful walnut we sawed, and today we're back at the mill and we're gonna tackle a stack of maple. So let's get to work. So it's actually middle of the afternoon here, I have to confess. I was doing some very important stuff this morning, so I got a late start. I was bow hunting, sorry. Everybody needs a little break here and there. So, so I did a little hunting this morning, but I'm back at it. Did a few odds and ends things here before I uh, picked up the camera and you guys. And now we got this stack of maple logs here. Now, you may remember a few weeks ago, I had a video of taking some trees down at my house. That's what you're looking at. Uh, this stuff was the, the maple that came down at my house. And if you remember, I wasn't too optimistic about these logs. I didn't really think they were gonna be worth a whole lot. Well, I've maybe changed my tune a little bit. Once I cut them down, uh, I could see the ends of the logs and. I think we're in for a little treat here. I'm going to kind of leave that as a, as a surprise, but uh, I, th I think this is going to be some neat looking stuff. And I'm pretty sure it's mostly going to be two inch thick. I have a good deal of one inch maple, but I'm a little bit short on two inch. And I think for what this is going to be, once again, a little bit of a teaser, I think this is going to make some nice two inch lumber. So before I can move these to the mill, I got to address something here. I got a screw in there. I'm telling you guys hate when people put metal in logs. I mean, it's it's just, it's ignorant, it's irresponsible. It's one of my big pet peeves. I can't stand when people do it. Ruin a good chunk of wood. Well, I had to hang my security camera somewhere, so. The tree was the best option, so I went for it. And well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna right my wrong right now. Problem solved. It's only a problem when you forget about it and they get grown around, so so that should be no problem. Now, people that had the property before me, who knows what they did. We might zing some, some metal here, but hopefully not. So I'm gonna get some of these logs over to the mill. We'll get set up and we'll get to sawing and we'll see what this stuff looks like.
So this stuff's sawing just how I was hoping it would. It is sharp looking stuff. So, pop quiz. Does anybody know what we're looking at here? Well, if you know the answer, if you're yelling at your screen right now, I'm gonna inform the people that don't. This is called ambrosia maple, or some people call it wormy maple. It's caused by the ambrosia beetle. And what happens, the beetle bores into the tree when the tree's living. If you can see, there's bore holes at each one of these streaks. And I'm not an expert on the exact science behind it, but for some reason when that beetle bores into the tree, it causes the wood to get pigmented like this. And this would travel up and down the growth rings, you know, up and down the tree as the tree's standing and causes this discoloration. This stuff is really neat looking. Uh, there's some logs in here I think are gonna have a lot of figure in them. There's a big butt log that I'm really excited to saw because it's got a ton of of ambrosia streaks on the stump a lot of times you can tell at the end of the log you can see that's why i was kind of alluding to that giving you a little teaser earlier so this stuff is really neat i've already done whole floors with it it makes beautiful flooring it definitely is an acquired look some people love it some people don't like it it's too busy for some people but it really makes makes some neat looking wood let me let me throw a little water on it so you can maybe Maybe see it a little better. That kind of gives you an idea what it looks like with a clear coat on. And I'm cutting this stuff thick because this also makes really neat countertops, either plank countertops or Butcher block countertops or, you know, desktops, stuff like that. I've done some of that in the past. And I have a pretty good supply of this in one inch. So I thought the best use for this would be to cut it into two inch lumber. I'll have some one inch sideboards, you know, that are too small for, for two inch. But, but this is really going to be some nice stuff. Uh, you know, I, as I alluded to in the past video, you know, I didn't think it was worth a whole lot. And yeah, as, as grade maple lumber, you know, as FAS maple lumber, definitely not. I don't know if I'm going to get an FAS board out of this whole batch of logs. But as a specialty item, being that I do a lot of specialty products here, and I can make the flooring and the countertops and that kind of stuff, or just sell it kiln dried retail to a woodworker who wants to do that stuff themselves. You know, it, it's a nice item to have. So it's, it's unique, definitely takes the right project and the right person to use it, but I'm happy to have it. So I'm gonna keep sawing here. I think I'm gonna edge most of this stuff. It's a little small for live edge. This is only about 12 inches here. That's on the small side for live edge. I have some, some wider live edge stuff in stock. There's a few bigger logs that maybe I'll leave the bark on, on on some pieces, but by and large, I think this is gonna get edged and just be sold as eight quarter square edged lumber. So we'll see. Those are kind of the decisions I make on the fly as I'm sawing if I see an opportunity or you know just try to try to make the best out of the wood. So I'm gonna keep sawing here and I'll bring you back if I if I run into anything really super unique.
So kind of like my five-year-old on Christmas, I had no patience. I had to move that big butt log to the front of the line and saw that next. So you guys saw, I showed you some of the stuff uh, as it came off the edger and I stacked it, looked pretty good. Well, wait till you see this stuff. This is from that butt log. Absolutely beautiful. You couldn't ask for any nicer ambrosia maple or wormy maple as some guys around here call it. But that stuff is just stunning. You can see I did leave a few pieces live edge. This will probably be about it. This was the biggest log and that's about the smallest live edge I'll cut. That's maybe 14 to 16 inches. So it'll make nice stuff and worst case I can always rip the edge off after the fact. But I don't sell a ton of narrow live edge. So I, uh, I just wanted to show you guys something a little unique. It's a little bit special because it came from my front yard i guess so uh you know i've done a lot of projects over the years for for people where you know they have trees that come off of their property that we make into finished product uh, because it has some sentimental value to them i've never actually done it myself you know out of my yard obviously i've cut my own timber here but it's it's a little bit different i guess so so i just wanted to show you guys i thought it would be unique turns out it is so I'm pretty happy with it. Hopefully I maybe showed you something you haven't seen before. Or if you've seen it before, hopefully you just appreciate some, some good looking wood. So I got about a dozen logs left. I'm not going to get it done today, but I, I kind of cheated and, and did what I think is going to be the best. Who knows? You never know when you're sawing logs. Maybe something will really surprise me. There'll be something else neat here. But um, I'm going to keep plugging along at it here. Uh, I can tell you, I'm going to need a back stretch at the end of the day. That uh, That's the one negative to sawing two inches thick when you're by yourself. It's a workout. But it's worth it for some nice wood. So I'm going to let it go here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time.